Prince William recalls emotional childhood memory with Prince Harry in first public mention of brother in years. Prince William is revisiting one of the most impactful moments of his childhood a powerful experience he shared with his brother, Prince Harry. In the Prince of Wales upcoming two-part documentary, airing on October 30 and 31 on ITV in the UK, titled Prince William, We Can End Homelessness, the royal offers a unique, in-depth look his five-year Homewards program, which aims to demonstrate that homelessness across the UK can be eradicated. In a newly released clip from the documentary on October 26, William reflects on how his late mother, Princess Diana, first introduced him to the issue of homelessness by taking him and Harry to The Passage, a UK charity supporting those experiencing or at risk of homelessness. Hello viewers, please remember to subscribe and click on the notifications bell icon, so you will be notified whenever we upload new cookies about the British royal family. My mother took me to the passage, she took Harry and I both there. I must have been eleven at the time, maybe ten. I had never been to anything like that before, and I was a bit anxious about what to expect, William says in the clip, which is believed to be his first public mention of Harry in several years. Kensington Palace slash Twitter Princess Diana, Prince Harry and Prince William visit the passage in 1994. He goes on to describe Diana's natural way of easing everyone's nerves. My mother went about her usual, making everyone feel relaxed, having a laugh and joking with everyone, he says. I remember at the time kind of thinking, well, if everyone doesn't have a home, they're all going to be really sad. But it was incredible how happy an environment it was. Reflecting on the experience, William says, I remember having some good conversations, playing chess, chatting and that's when it dawned on me that there were other people out there who don't have the same life as you do. You know, when you're quite small, you just think life is what you see in front of you and you don't really have concept to look elsewhere. It's when you meet people, as I did then, who put a different perspective in your head and say, well, I was living on the street last night, and you're like, whoa. I remember that happening. Prince William has served as patron of the passage since 2019. Since his first visit to the charity alongside his brother, Harry, he's returned on several occasions. Prince William on his first visits to the passage with his mother, Princess Diana, in 1993. In a 2017 interview with Newsweek, Harry also opened up about the experience, saying, my mother took a huge part in showing me an ordinary life, including taking me and my brother to see homeless people. Thank goodness I'm not completely cut off from reality. People would be amazed by the ordinary life William and I live. Prince William on his first visit to the passage with his mother in 1993. William's comments come amid ongoing strain between the brothers. It's been widely reported that tension between Harry and William began in 2016 after William expressed concerns about how quickly Harry was moving in his relationship with Meghan Markle. In 2020, Harry and Meghan announced that they were stepping back from their royal roles. Prince William and Prince Harry arrive for the unveiling of a statue they commissioned of their mother Diana, Princess of Wales, in the sunken garden at Kensington Palace, on what would have been her 60th birthday on July 1, 2021 in London, England. More the last time the brothers appeared together was in August at their uncle Lord Robert Fellow's memorial service. However, they reportedly did not interact with one another there. Sources previously told People that Harry's attempts to connect with William through texts, calls, and messages have been ignored. The rift with Prince William is very bad, a royal insider said, but it's not irreparable. Prince William on his first visits to the passage with his mother, Princess Diana, in 1993. William's documentary, which airs on October 30 and 31st, will follow him as he launches homewards across the UK, as well as the journeys of those currently facing homelessness or who have lived experience of the issue. The documentary will also feature well-known advocates of the programme, alongside those leading individual projects across the UK. 
The Royal Foundation has described Homewards as a five-year program that aims to demonstrate that it's possible to end homelessness by working with six locations across the UK to put collaboration at the heart of the response. Prince William and Princess Kate to benefit from King Charles's major change. Princess Kate and Prince William driving forward with plans that could benefit Prince George. King Charles has recently made a change that allows Prince William more freedom, but the heir to the throne may be reluctant to utilize it. The King and Queen Camilla are currently undertaking an official tour of Samoa and will not return to the UK until Sunday. Meanwhile, back in the UK, Prince William and Princess Kate are navigating their children's half-term holidays. Despite the potential for travel, it appears the family will opt to stay closer to home. King Charles has recently made a change that allows Prince William more freedom, but the heir to the throne may be reluctant to utilize it. With their children on half-term holidays, the family could be tempted to take advantage of the break for a getaway, however, according to Ingrid Seward, editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, this is unlikely. She told Fabulous, I suspect they will be in Norfolk rather than Mystique as the king is out of the country. The reason for this decision lies in Prince William's role within the royal family. Prince William is one of King Charles's councillors of state, and the heir to the throne. This position requires him to be present when the king is out of the country. However, a recent change in 2022 has provided some flexibility. Prince William reveals how he is spending half-term break with George, Charlotte and Louis in surprise message. Prince William has been enjoying a week off with his three children and wife Princess Kate, and it's just been made even better. His football team, Aston Villa, have become the first team to win three games in the Champions League this season, beating Bologna, Bayern Munich, and Bastia Young Boys, and they have also kept three clean sheets meaning they haven't let in any goals. William's eldest son George has also become a Villa fan, and was surely watching the match with his dad, as this week he is off school as many of the UK's students enjoy their October half-break. The dad of three, who has been a lifelong Villa fan, retweeted the football on TNT Sports account on X, formerly known as Twitter, adding, of course I was watching, at ally underscore McCoist 9. He tagged sports commentator Ali McCoist who had given William a shout-out during the match and signed it with a W, his signature move for tweets sent by his own hand, as well as added a clenched arm muscle emoji. Ali recently received an OB from the Prince, sharing a picture with fans and writing, such a proud moment for myself and my family, I am humbled to be receiving my OB from Prince William at Windsor Castle today. Thank you for all the support and messages. It means so much. Did we speak about it of official? That's between the Prince and I. This run of games has been incredibly historic for the Midlands team as this is the first time they have featured among Europe's elite since the league was rebranded in 1992. They had appeared in the previous iteration, the European Cup, winning in 1982.